what do they want they say what is the purpose of the freeze panes feature in excel okay uh that simply we simply use that to actually to keep certain rows or columns visible while scrolling through a large data set okay so this is your answer okay i'm not going to demonstrate that i don't have a large data set to to do that okay uh to so what what is the purpose of the if function in excel i'll demonstrate this in another day but the correct answer is to perform logical tests and return one value if the condition is true and another value if it's false okay so if you are interested in learning excel i think i'm going to start an excel series okay which is not focused on assignments or anything like that i'm just going to be teaching uh, students how to use the features in excel so okay stay tuned in the in this channel and you'll learn a lot okay so but at the moment let me just give you answers and then we move forward i'm no longer going to demonstrate anything okay so i'm basically giving you answers for the rest of the uh questions okay what is the purpose of the sum function in excel okay the sum function is simply used to add up the values in the range of cells uh this is easy i could have demonstrated this but no let me not do that uh we're running against time now okay what keyboard shortcut is used to insert a new or worksheet in excel the correct answer is control new okay so this is the correct answer okay so okay the next one uh what key what keyboard shortcut is used to save an excel workbook okay uh, this is true for most applications it's just control s if even if you're using word if you want to save stuff it's just um press control s okay so that is true for almost all the apps that i know okay which chart type is best suited for comparing values across different categories okay and this one is your bar chart okay the correct answer is bar chart okay which uh, excel feature allows you to automatically fill cells with data based on a pattern of uh, series okay or a pattern or series i mean uh the correct answer is your autofill okay which excel feature allows you to highlight cells based on a specific criteria that is what conditional formatting okay so once you're done with conditional formatting uh the next one just gonna do everything okay uh which function is used to count the number of cells in a in a range that contains numbers the correct answer is count okay so you can test you can test this okay by simply uh, typing equals to count and then select a range okay and then uh, which function is used to find the average of a range of cells we've already demonstrated this and i think i don't have to answer that okay which function is used to find the highest value in a range of cells okay this one is max okay if you highlight a range of cells and then uh, okay uh, type equals to max in an empty cell it will give you the highest uh, the highest uh, number for that particular range okay then the last three okay which function is used to round a number to the nearest integer uh, that function is the round function okay so your correct the correct answer here is c uh, which ribbon tab in excel contains commands related to formatting cells uh, the one that we've been working on this one i can just show you it's basically your home tab okay this is where you find all these features okay so let's go back since that didn't take time so the correct answer here is d you have to select that one okay but uh, i don't think this is correct i think okay if it was actually the correct format should have been this one okay which is where is it d d m m y y this is the correct format but if you want to get 100 percent, you have to select this one okay so 
yeah let's see what's going to happen so now i'm going to select uh, okay okay now let's do that so on the next video i am just going to select all the answers that we've discussed here okay oh.